in our national setting and how do you make it if so? Kasi, I read the book of former Minister Velasco and um, I know for a fact, okay, there are slight issues on the technology, okay, but all of these nuclear plants now can be retrofitted to take into consideration all of the safety concerns. In Fukushima, ang problema nun, hindi naman yung nuclear hindi plant. Yung yung nuclear. So what was the problem? Yung the problem po, po, yung lindol po, tsaka yung tsunami. What was the problem of the lindol? Ang problema ng lindol, hindi yung plant pa mismo, hindi. pero yung pump ng tubig, yun ang bumitaw. Kasi, hindi nila expected pag rush back ng tubig, yung mga pumps mismo, yeah. nag-short. Kasi yung plants, yung, yung pump nila yung sa ilalim, imbis na hindi nila kalain, magpa-flood yung pump room. Doon the pump room flooded, that was it. Hindi mo yung pump it out and then they had to melt down. Mm -hmm. But if the pump was located sa taas, hindi mm -hmm. mangyayari yun. Like Kasi yung plant, walang well, nangyari sa plant eh. Yung, yung pump yung bumitaw. So they couldn't, yung, they couldn't cool the, the, the they couldn't bring down the temperature, the conflict, the uh, no, runaway radiation. As chairman po ng SNT, paano po natin magpo-promote na alam natin it's very controversial when we say nuclear? Um, number one, nuclear is the cleanest. Number two, it's renewable. The third issue is the spent nuclear fuel. There are already technologies on that. Biotechnology, in fact, is one of the means to address that. They have, remember, the cockroaches didn't die during all of these um, eons. And so they're, they're, some of the scientists are saying that perhaps you can use organisms to take care and eat the nuclear fuel. It, it, the next 10 years, there will be so many breakthroughs in genetics, in um, DNA, marami tayong matutuklasan. Nanotechnology. Ang dami. Kaya nga, ako excited ako eh. Sila ayaw yung sumalis ako, bahala kayo.